Aloha and welcome to another episode of the Keys Book Web Camera Show. It's me, John Anilani Remus IV, Prince John. Remember who we are. The crown, the royalty, the noble, the kind, the compassionate, the graceful, the loyal. That's who we are. Let us discover our main motivation, the most important thing. If there wasn't a great match for a life partner out there, then what would be the point of life if there wasn't somebody out there for every person alive? I mean, what's your favorite and most important thing to do? I'll answer that for anyone who's shy. Let's, let's say it's be in bed with somebody, your soulmate, somebody that you, uh, you know, can truly see as an equal, see that you're on par with each other. That's why even if like an old rich guy has a young wife, he's never going to feel that connection and, and she won't either. As far as I believe. So, you know, you and I, and maybe you, maybe a lot of people, we, we've had fun, you know, playing with different things besides focusing on our sexuality. You know, we've played sports, watch TV, drive cars, you know, just all types of hobbies, drinking and eating, traveling, all types of hobbies besides focusing on our, you know, our sexual desire and the sacred nature of soulmate unions, as you might refer to them. <clears throat> but now that I've, I feel I've discovered some universe secrets, such as what really is oneness consciousness and what does it mean to be like a creator um, what's God you know I think we can put all the pieces of the puzzle together and <clears throat> learning from negative experiences and relationship failures we can finally uh, form some some sacred unions. Okay, so of husband and wife. Uh, religious people, I'd like to say thank you to you for for building anticipation and for being honorable in faith and respectful of family values and children and women. Now, well, let's take everything we've learned and turn 2015 into the year that something really changed on planet Earth. Now, there are different ways to figure out who your soulmate is, <clears throat> such as maybe learning about yourself, what you like, uh, noticing who you like, you know, just looking at and interacting with a lot of people, trying to make it impersonal if possible, like using a dating website so you don't start a short-term relationship, which is going in the opposite direction of family values and long-term relationship, um, you know, there's a website called plentyoffish.com. It's a popular dating website that doesn't charge charge for its product. And it, I encourage you to sign up and make a psychological profile test and, and learn more.
more about yourself. It's it's just some compelling logic that they use in science to try and match people. But I found that no matter if I think I'm special or have certain attributes that might make several women like me, many, that only one woman will truly like me for everything that I'm about. And so this might provide some relief to you if you're nervous about, you know, what, 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 what person would be a good match for you. Well, you know, who, who's the right, who's the one? Well, pardon me. I, I believe that it'll be easy to sort out the ones and and that um, that the right one will will be revealed. Uh, remember, doing the light work is, I believe, the fundamental basis for reality and and synchronicity and and uh, serendipitous events and occasions. Mm. In other words, you know, ultimately, I, I won't really be able to tell you what the best way to find your soulmate is, um, except to encourage you to prepare yourself, learn more about yourself and what you like, and write it down, you know, know who you are, and and you know be open to liking many different types of women different body types or men if you like men and the one big thing would be knowing what role you want to play in life in a relationship be prepared to maybe play more than one role but just talk communicate uh, you know, be be really passionate. Like if you burn your face or lose an arm or a leg, um, you have to, you know it has to be something you'd still like, even if they somehow you know lost maybe their job or lost it, you know, money or whatever, you know, as long as our minds are there and we can still experience orgasms, then I think we are viable for each other as human beings. Another, uh, another topic, I think that with money or government provided housing and food, no one will have to prostitute themselves for their time or their money or their body. And no one will have to pretend to like another person just because they need a place to live. Uh, I want everyone to have a strong foundation to thrive and be successful in their fullest realizing their fullest potential and preparing for their mate alright what else um, bottom line you can tell if people are trying to get in bed with each other if they talk to them about non-business matters so out of respect for yourself and others, I encourage you to talk to them, people online and not in person, so as to remove the element of seduction or manipulation, whether even if it's unconscious, you know. Remove the element of physicality and make it all about personality. You can. You can. Find one's 
person's personality online. Okay, what else? You know, wouldn't we all rather be with someone than be alone and together? We can figure this out. Be totally honest, accepting and embracing of oneself. And let others know who you are. And don't compromise what you don't want to. All right. Some final thoughts. Here I'm opening up my notes here. And then we're going to call it a day. But thanks for being here with me. One second, take a deep breath while I... Okay, so... Uh, my words bond me to others and vice versa. Don't judge other people because they're only acting upon using their animal mind and they haven't discovered the light work. The bottom line when you're thinking about starting a relationship or you think somebody might be your soulmate, um, ex you know, bottom line is can you accept that person for who they are? are, are you, would you be comfortable living with them who they, with who they are? Um, I also believe that when you start to connect with each other and bond, that you'll eventually become one person and have very strong similarities, but it takes time to build and, and create that relationship. Let's see. All right, so what I've noticed is if I'm upset at somebody, such as perhaps if they lie, then All I've got to worry about is, is myself, you know, it's an ego thing to think that, oh, I'm better than them because they're lying and I should tell them to stop lying or I'm right. Just think of your soulmate, think, imagine that you have somebody out there and just focus on that. Doesn't that feel great? Let's see. Yeah, you know, let's let each other make mistakes and, and don't judge each other. Give each other room to make mistakes. And thanks for being here with me. Uh, feel free to comment below or like to encourage me to post more videos if I had more likes and I may be so inclined to post more. Alright, thank you.